So, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. We're in the lower tram in the edge of the kingdom, and we lost all of our money. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> we lost, like, $6,000. We gotta get that back. Because I'm pretty sure the blacksmith's gonna want me to pay him to forge my nail again. But we got spider friends! And even though we don't have a map, we have a vague idea of where the, uh... Of where our money is. That is not the way we went last time. We went to the left. I think. I thought we went to the left. Maybe not. I am... I don't think we went this way, but maybe we did. Hmm. Oh, no, that's right. This is the area of big boy bees. Okay, never mind. Ow, my butt. Alright, well, let's try to avoid combat as, uh... Okay, well, if he's sitting right on top of the platform, what are we gonna do, but... I just want to get my money and get out. Okay, so we go up, and then it's kind of in the upper right part of the map, I believe. Just gotta retrace my steps, which is... I probably should have watched the end of my last stream before playing this. But I honestly totally forgot that we were on a, a quest for our money. And a very important one, because uh, we were in low on HP. Ow. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. And sorry to hear that there's more fights breaking out at your job, Mobius. That is no fun. That you definitely have me beat at my I thought I thought I had an interesting day at work today, but that's not that bad. Nobody's physically fighting each other. But I did show up to a meeting that I thought was like a meeting to plan for a formal assessment we were having on our requirements. No, that actually was the formal assessment that I was launched into and I had to give an impromptu assessment of what we've been doing. So that was fun. But I will take that over people physically beating each other up. Oh, that's right! I'm immune to boiling water! Okay. Let's just point up the map again. Okay, yeah, it's basically as far right as we can get. Ooh, that's not good, Nintendo Addict. Hugs and prayers for your dad. I've heard kidney stones are... Um, possibly more painful than childbirth. It's definitely not fun. Oof. I have a friend who's like, expecting her first child, and she's had kidney stones. She's kind of interesting to see which one will be the worst experience. I would say the kidney stones, because even if childbirth is more painful, like, the overall memory of it would be happier, I would assume. It's more fun taking home a child than it is taking home a couple of stones. I have to imagine. Oof. Yeah, how, whatever you can do to prevent kidney stones, I'd recommend probably doing that. Okay. Hopefully that will help, yeah. Alright. 
I don't recognize this area. Oh, that's right. The big dark barrier is back again. Ouch. These enemies have a lot of HP, but that's almost a good thing, because it's giving me a lot of my, uh, so my will back. And, of course, spider friends are helping out. They are definitely pulling their own weight. That's not very nice. Why would you, why would you do that? Ooh, 16 kidney stones? Oh dear lord. That sounds deeply unpleasant. So I think that was where the grub was that I saved. Or maybe I was completely making that up and I just dreamed it. Oh, there we go. That's the sound of my shadow. My shadow's a big fan of creepy music boxes. Alright. Okay, I hate these enemies. A lot. Okay, you started shooting way faster than you were supposed to. Okay, there, you're down there, of course you are. Good. Good. We got back. A oh, wow. No, it was 7,000. Fan art in Discord. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing it. The meme online about these enemies being evil. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was the Wanderer's Journal that I got there. What's well, weird, because like these guys don't have that much HP... But they're so annoying. Well, actually, free HP with my sword, with my nail upgraded as much as it is. They have the same amount of HP almost as the fat guys, so. Let's just make ourselves richer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, I love the fast healing. That's very nice. <laughs> Fast healing and spider friends, yeah. <laughs> Forget the geomagnet. Geomagnet was really great, for, but now that I have so much money, I don't think I really need it anymore. I'm guessing I can't do anything with him there, but now that I know he's there, we're heading up. Oh, that's right. I think maybe I can redirect the blasts back at him. Why is there a lot of rocks there if I can't break it open? Hmm. I know there's a big fat guy in there. I want to meet him. Maybe? Maybe? This blue thing? <laughs> I love how I went through, like, so much of the game being like, what the heck do they mean when they say these, like, blue liquid? I've literally never seen one before, and now, like, now I'm seeing them all the time. <sighs> oh. You would. 
Okay, now I can't redirect the shots back. Ow! There goes my blue milk. Yeah, those guys are a nasty. That spread shot makes them quite precarious. Aha! Okay, drop hatch. Look at the background, that's a true chonk. Uh. Oh, wow. Hi! <laughs> Wanna be friends? Bardoon. Oh, tiny thing, you climb high. Seek the knowledge of these lands. This ashen place is grave of worm, once told it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the being spawned from that event. Cool. One prefers its mind not to be pride, is rather unsettling, rather invasive. He knows! Oh. I not love? Is it, bo is it you bothering about my tail? Rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find that sensation not unpleasant. Or, or, um. This failed ash is molt, this worm's corpse decaying, endless. Mmm, serene, sad. With its like gone, the world is smaller. Can you give me a map of the area? Wow, that guy's like a giant worm. But that's cool. <laughs> body. Oh. I thought this was snow, but if it's his body flakes, that's... it's a little nasty. I'm gonna consider it that it's still snow. I like that better. And I don't even really like snow. Except at Christmas time. I hear a wormy McSquirmy. Oh, of course. Uh-oh. Oh, you jerk butt! That was a near fan. Oh boy! We also still need to go back to the resting grounds to get my reward. But again, no subway stations nearby. Oh, maybe that wasn't a, uh... A wormy McSquirmy. lot here. There's a lot of them about. There's truly a lot of them about. I 
bet I missed somewhere. One of them low down. Wow, rude. Come on. Oh, nope. Not today. There we go. Found them all. Sacred grave. Ashen ground. Kingdom's birth. Do they all say the same thing? I swear every tree I've hit has said that. Yeah, I can't see what's down there, so I'm not falling down that pit. Oh, that looks like it leads back to the, uh, the temple area. I will explore that after I continue exploring this side that I didn't get all of. Who knows, maybe Cornifer is hanging around here. Probably not, but maybe. Each one has a very short description of the lore of the areas, and they're all different. Okay. I seem to recall they all say, like, Ashen Ground. But maybe I'm wrong about that. How's, how's it going, Galadivore? Welcome, welcome. We're in the, the area filled with snow. It's definitely not uh, dandruff. No! That killed me! No! I thought I had more than 2 HP. Well, that sucks. Guess we gotta go back again. I have seen no benches in this kingdom. Well, great. I thought I was at 3 HP, not 2. I also forgot that there are enemies in the game that can deal 2 damage to you. When you're at 1 HP, like, the screen flashes black, and you're like, oh, I gotta heal. But when, if you're at, like, 2 HP, it doesn't. I guess that's true. But what if I want to save my soul for soul attacks that I never use? Did you think about that? It's the classic what if I need it later uh, defense. <laughs> Wait. That's corner for. Oh my gosh, he's here! Isn't this a cozy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and fought for a moment's break. Was well called for. He's gonna want me, uh... <laughs> he's gonna want me to pay more money than I have because I just lost it all. The landscape's all rather serene this side of the city, though the inhabitants are as ferocious as ever. Nice to see you, Simpsons are us. I'm glad to hear you're doing a little bit better. Yay! Purchase a map of the area. I... Tuck on it. You don't have enough geo, I understand. I'd give you the map as a gift, but I don't think my wife would be very happy if I did. All our food is made of geo, you, as they say. What if you give it to me now, can I pay you back later? Okay, that was a good hiding spot. I still can't remember. That sign is not for a bridge. I can't remember what it is for, but it's not for a bridge. Wait, this isn't the way to DMA.
I just need to know I go I go up. I go very high up to find my shadow. Okay. Stop hitting your head on the ceiling. This leads to the blue milk area, right? Wait, the blue... This is a different blue milk area. Maybe? Do those respawn, or is that just a completely different one? Because if those respawn, that changes everything. That was the same one, so that you can just keep going back to there to get health extended. Um, okay. Oh, hey! Wow, we're all the way back up here? I thought you were way higher up than this. They respawn after bench. Okay. Interesting. So I actually went up... Uh, see, that time I went up a little too high. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, that, that actually wasn't nearly as long of a trek as I thought it would be. Now watch, I'm gonna go back to where Corner. Oh, As I was saying, I've I'm gonna go back to where Cornifer was, and he'll be like, "I'm oh, sorry, I'm gone now." Herp a derp, lol. <laughs> Romulan ale. No, that's the milk that Luke drinks in A New Hope. Bada beam, bada boom, ba da 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 da. Hey, I'd like my money back. All that just for a geo deposit? Rats. Huh. All I care about is money. Guilty. You, you got me. I have no love in my life outside of money. B -b busted. <laughs> I jest. I, I know there's more to life than money. Burger coupons are also very important. Because those help you save money. Yeah, I probably should go back for the map. If I can remember where it is. Maybe that'll help me find a bench as well, and I can go back for the Pac-Man ghosts, or whatever the icon was for. Let's be real. Even after, like, 14 streams, I still don't really know how to play this game. I still don't know what any of these map icons really mean. I think I missed my exit somewhere. Oh, no, there's an exit down here, though. You're gonna have to be more specific with when you say that sound effect. <laughs> Arg! Arg when I'm happy. Arg when I'm sad. Arg when I'm good or bad. Arg!
I'm not going higher. No, no, no. I like staying down to earth. Get it. Eh. Alright, Cornifer should be down here. There he is. Yeah, I definitely have enough money now. No, I do want to purchase. Not interested. Yeah, quite understandable. No, I am very interested. Yes. Can I buy a map of the spider den as well, please? Let's see. Oh, that's right. I don't know where I am on the map. Oh, wow. There's like one bench, and it's really far to the right. I'm assuming that map is so filled out because I've already explored a lot of the area. Do you want to see more bees? It's not my fault that the bees disappear after you leave the tram station. Oh! Dodging all the shots, then getting hit by the hopping guy. Okay, if you just have one of those flying mets, they're not too bad. Oh, big boy. Wow, spider friends took care of him. Namita's already exhausted all of his bee puns when he made Lemmings plus five. No, oh, he's fine. He's a tougher than average enemy, but he's no boss. What a lovely bench. Oh, there's more over to the left. Let's go into the building first. I wouldn't be so sure. Hey, bro. I want to hear your life story. Nailmaster Oro! Oh, nice! Hmm, how did you find me down here in the world e where the world ends? Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary Nailmaster Oro. It is the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to trade under me, prove it with Geo. How is my day on a 1 out of 10? I mean... Is the scale entirely dependent on the days I personally have had? Or in the, the scale of days that humanity has had? Because if, if we're going on the scale of general humanity, today was like a 9. But if you're going based on my own personal experience, then probably a 5. All right, prove it with Geo. Yeah, you you prove you're worthy by paying people. That's how it works. Oh yeah. Master the dash slash. Hold Y to concentrate energy into the nail. Release the button while dashing to perform the dash slash. Interesting. Hmm. I must say, you are an excellent pupil. You're skilled with the nail, and you're first to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I've taught you all I can. Go back into the world, traveler, and lead me to my solitude. Oh. Brother Mato, in your lonely home at the top of the world, do you still think of me as an enemy? In the future, if you will listen, I will tell you why I chose to tread this path. Is that the dash slash?
Or am I not doing it right? Dash slash dash slash dash slash dash slash dash slash. Hollow Knight too good for hugs. It's longer and flatter than the Great Slash. Oh yeah, that's cool. Sitting on a bench. Oh, that's not disconcerting or anything. Stronger, brothers. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, I don't think we can knock his corpse off there. I'm sorry. That was kind of dark. <laughs> Is that literally the only thing over here? Seems like it. Map updated. Alright then. Let's, go, let's try going back to the City of Tears. Then we can make more money by selling that notebook we found. Also, I want to upgrade my Dream Nail again. Or my regular nail. I, it's a shame. I can't see myself using the Dash Slash all that much. Takes kind of a while to charge up. Okay. Wow. Now, now, let's not spoil anything. It is weird that I, I bet there's something you can do there, but I gave up. I want to go to the city. That's where I can't tell where I am. Just have to use my intuition. I think I remember where the uh, City of Tears warp is. Found something that definitely looked like it would lead there. Victoria's Secret, the worst kind. Boop, boop. <laughs> You're never gonna let me live that down. Look, I did. I looked at every possible way, and it just there were all. <laughs> I looked at a hundred different parallel universes, and in none of them can Marshmallow be saved. He's he's tough. He'll he'll deal with it. Wee! I do love the food in here. Okay. Only wusses need to heal their HP. A true man can go for the entire game without taking damage on his first playthrough. Guess that means I ain't a true man. Alright, get back here. <laughs> Apparently Marshmallow is a very polarizing character. Some people hate him and some people really want me to save him. One of those fake mans. The Tower of Love? Aw, oh, yeah! I'm here to save you, princess! Use the love key. Fiona, I'm here to save you! I forgot I picked up a love key. Okay, that guy, we were a little too late to save. <laughs> that guy, we saved so we could kill him. That guy, we were too late to save. Too late to save. Oh dear. Oh dear. Do 
Well, this got dark. The Collector! Oh! What a twist! You ain't putting me in a glass jar. Uh, something tells me this might be a bonus boss. Because we had to use the love key to get here. Well, yeah. Alright. Well, hey! Now that we're back here... Let's see if there's more stuff we can do with this funny, uh... Oh, I have an idea. Okay. Because there's this will statue here... Okay, that's interesting. I don't know how or why that happened. People getting mad that I'm desecrating this corpse? Like, I don't see anything happening here. My spider friends are even helping out. Okay, well that really wasn't worth it then. <laughs> the whole world is mad at me. And look, he's already dead. What's the harm? Okay. As much as I love spider friends, if we're trying to fight the lady that stole my life, we might need something a little better than that. So we got definitely quick focus, for sure. Definitely the extra soul. That's really good. Um, Probably the shield? Yeah, I like the Balder shield. Alright, well, it shouldn't be too far of a walk to get back to the lady who put me in a glass cage. Pull the maneuver. <laughs> you turn around. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not desecrating the corpse anymore. No matter how much you guys want me to do it. At some point, a man has to put his foot down and say, "No, this is wrong." Oh, hey, go out of wars playing Hollow Knight. Maybe we can find a bench before we challenge the love lady again. Because we needed the love key to enter there, this is this is something that I actually could see as being a bonus boss. Like this is something that we're like if they were going to put a bonus boss somewhere like this would make sense to me for it to be in a locked tower. So I keep hearing what sounds like a grub, but it might just be the bat. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see if there's a bench down here.
Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you. <laughs> I sneezed loudly. Oh! That's what the sign was pointing here for. Well, this is actually pretty close to the tram, so I could rest at the tram, but even then, that's still a decent walk. I'm gonna check this way. Okay, that, surely this is not a real grub. Oh, it was! I have only seen one fake grub in the entire game. Oh, we're at King Station again. Interesting. Oh, this is the fake Keen Station station. Okay, we gotta go up to get the real one. And then there will be a bench there. Wonderful. <laughs> Floating mathematics here. Well, it just seemed like it was in such an easy spot. Last time I had the... F Last time I had a grub that was in a really easy spot, he was fake and tried to kill me. That's a really well-hidden secret passageway. Oh, too easy. Alright, now let's get our money back. <laughs> and get true love's kiss. Oh, hey, that's really, that's really cool. That's, I, I love that. Your shadow is trapped in the glass cage like she literally didn't trap. Oh, that. What a what a fun and creative boss. The collector. Okay, okay, you're a little too intense there, lady. Oh no. Okay, she seems tough. I probably should have upgraded my nail before doing this. She's a little too, uh, freaky for my taste. Oh, why would you make two of these? But honestly, the scariest part of this fight are the enemies that she creates. Specifically, these guys. But, like, her pattern is incredibly simple. So maybe not a brutal bonus boss. Oh, those guys aren't nearly as scary. They only fire one projectile instead of three. Still very annoying, though. No! Duck on it! You can't reflect those back at it. Okay, okay, this is this is doable. This is definitely no um definitely no lost kin, for sure. She makes too much noise. If she had if she created exploding bats, then that would be a problem. But thankfully she doesn't. 
If I can get down a solid strategy for dealing with the stuff that comes out of the glass efficiently and safely... Oh, that's the wrong way. Yeah, she definitely... She seems like the shadow of another creature. So maybe if I defeat her, I'll get a bunch of money. So she starts by dropping just one glass at a time, then she starts dropping two. So I'm guessing if we do enough damage to her, she'll start dropping three. Really? It's getting annoying when she's dropping stuff right on my head all the time. Maybe she's my weird aunt. <laughs> Maybe. I only have one aunt. She's not weird, though. Yeah, the fact that she puts your shadow in a jar is fantastic. Such a small detail, but, like, it adds so much. Alright, alright. I think I just need a strategy. Maybe, maybe I should do the dash attack. I did just get it, after all. Maybe I should upgrade my nail. Oh, the player is weird, Ant. Well, I didn't know, because, canonically, <laughs> this game has my ex-wife in it, so... I thought we were just adding to the arty lore. I tried to damage her in the cutscene, and I took damage instead. Ain't that just how it goes? If I upgraded my nail, I might be able to kill the pill bugs in one hit, which would be kind of nice. Okay, you're a little grabby. I don't mind hugs, but don't force hugs on me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If only she threw, threw the mosquitoes down a little more. Those guys are a lot easier to deal with than the pill bugs or the shooty flies. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the five seconds you can't do anything after you heal. Yeah, this is... Okay, now the fight's getting a bit hectic. Now 
No! Okay, when the... Yeah. <laughs> My aunt is not shadowy IRL, no. Well, yes, that is true. Artie will canonic... <laughs> Unless Jesus returns sooner than expected, uh, I will canonically die. Ah, it may, it probably was last phase. That, once you get down, once they start creating free, get little, get, free friends to deal with, oof. That's where things get, uh, hectic. Yeah, Pro Proxima's an expert at this game. Like, if I have a question that I need answered, like, he's my go-to source of info on Hollow Knight. Alright, this fight's not even that hard. I mean, it, it kind of is, with how hectic it gets at, at the end, but at this point, not really. That'll deal a lot of damage. I was about to say, maybe I should just ignore the guys that she drops, but that would be a spectacularly stupid idea. Okay, I thought that fight would be over by then. That's a bit of a problem. Please let me heal! Apparently my shield broke. Rats. I was sure that the... Guess there's another phase. Hmm. Alright. That, that, uh... <laughs> that attack of, like, the soul, the tortured souls from the underworld, that seems to be do really well. Also, I think that the shoot your spirit attack would probably also do great, because you could hit, potentially, the collector and the bugs that he slash she summons. This fight would also probably be easier if I just forged my nail. Actually, this fight would probably be massively easier, because if I forge my nail, I might be able to kill the pill bugs and the, like, shooty guys in one hit. Which would make them a lot less scary.
Wow, like, look how fast I knocked it out, out of that phase after doing the, like, upward soul attack. <laughs> no! There were two pill bugs over there, rats. Oh, that was so close. If you can kind of corner all the bugs on one side, then it's not that big of a deal. Also, it seemed like, this might not be true, but it seemed like if there were at least two bugs on screen, she wouldn't summon new ones. So if that's the case, if I can get, like, two mosquitoes on the screen and just ignore them because they're slow and don't really do much, then that might that might be the meta. She, she reminds me of an enemy that would appear in the Earth Temple from Wind Waker. And that's all I'll say for anybody who hasn't played Wind Waker yet. Okay, now there were two bugs on screen and she summoned more. Okay, she keeps making stuff drop on my shield and that's very annoying. Had to shoot the orb at the perfect time, didn't he? All right. Shield is not, maybe not the best. What else would be good though? Hmm. Oh, you know, I'm gonna try spider friends for this fight. I know I had them when I first entered, but that was before I really knew how to fight it. So spider friends might actually do a great job of keeping the little bugs at bay. And they don't take soul. Yes, this is a good plan. Alright, 
Let's see how the spider friends fare, now that I know her pattern. Spider friends make it harder to get soul. So less chances to heal safely, but... Spider friends are inflicting any real damage or not. Spider friends, I need you to take up the guys who can shoot me from a distance, and not the guys who have 1 HP that I can do. Ugh. All right, really? <laughs> she always did the claw attack when she was able to damage me with that. Okay, maybe spider friend. They, they weren't helping me in the way that I wanted them to. So... That takes too much. Dashmaster, no. Long nail, maybe? Collect more soul when striking foes. Uh... Isn't there one that gives me more soul every time I take damage? Or am I dreaming about that one? Maybe I'm just imagining... Oh no, that's the Grub Soul. Grub Soul, and I don't know what that one does. Let's try the Spore Shroom. The Stinky Crest. <laughs> I do not smell bad. I will not be getting Stinky Crest. What can I say? True love can hurt sometimes. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss, and a prince I'm hoping comes with it. Or, in my case, a princess. But the princess is crazy! <laughs> she got four arms, she's from the Shadow Temple, and she's trying to keep me in a jar until I die. It's a little weird. Well, let's see how this goes. Man, that, that lunge attack has a lot of range. Okay. The spores did not work the way I wanted them to. <laughs> that was immensely satisfying.
Oh, darn it. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see. Grub Song was good. I definitely like that. Spore Shroom... Didn't really do what I was expecting to. I thought it would instantly damage enemies nearby. But no, it takes its time. Okay, let's just see what the heck this does. <laughs> I can't do this for sure? <laughs> or I can? <laughs> you know that I thrive on people not believing in me, right? People say, Artie, you can't do this. Just try it again later. I'm like, screw you. I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why we got an entire stream of the Lost Kin. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that typo gave it a completely different meaning. So this might be kind of just an alternate version of the Spore Shroom. Duh! Obviously. Okay, I like I like the stinky a little better for this fight. No, I don't. I, again, it still doesn't actually damage them. Like, sometimes the stinky gas damages them instantly, and sometimes it don't. Or I probably, I probably realistically just don't understand the mechanics of it. Whoop. Darn it, stop doing the lunge at me. Darn it, okay. There, I don't think there was any real way out of that one. <laughs> there was an enemy in literally every direction I could have gone. Okay. Well, at least now that I, now I know what that does. Is there any other ones that are worth one? Ooh! Yes! Let's try that one. I'm tired of smelling bad. Oh, that's lame. I'll give it... I'm going to give it one more try, and if I can't do it this try, then I will get the nail upgrade, and it'll probably make it a lot easier. The thing is, I don't exactly remember where the nail forger is. I think he's at the bottom of the City of Tears, so I actually think he's pretty close by. Wait, darn it. Went the wrong way again. Can you imagine how much harder this would be if he could summon the bugs that did the free shot spread shot? That would be almost impossible. Yep, I, I will reclaim my Geo if it comes to that. Kick me off his foot. I like not having to recoil while you when you use the nail. That actually makes it a lot nicer. Oh, especially for the guys that shoot at you. Oh, that makes it a lot easier to deal with them.
this is going great. gotta be kidding me. Every time he drops it on my head. Ah! Seriously, it, if I heal, it always drops on my freaking head. Alright, well, we're getting our money, we're getting the nail upgrade, and then we're killing him. Yeah, true. Shadow Shadow Ant's pets are hard carrying her through this fight. If she didn't summon, like, guys constantly, she'd be a joke. Oh, and we can go and get the new, um... Essence upgrade as well. So there's actually a lot of stuff we can get. Come here, Subway. Let's go to the resting grounds. Get us the essence upgrade first, because that's the easiest and most convenient. Alright. Ah, Wheeldare, you've returned. Let me have a look at the Dream Nail. The Dream Nail now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind, like Prince in the Dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the Dream Nail tight, Wheeldare, and imagine a great gate opening before you. Is this a quick warp option? Oh, I hope it's a quick warp option. Master the Dream Gate. Hold X. Hold down while using the Dream Nail to set a Dream Gate. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's awesome. It's like, it's Ferrar's Wind. Oh, that's so good. The Dream Nail. Keep it up once you collected 1,200. Okay. I don't have quite that much. Okay, that's really good. <laughs> I'm assuming we can only have one warp point on at a time, but even so. That's really good. Why couldn't we have gotten that earlier in the game? That's what I want to know. Let's see if there's anything new to buy in Dirtmouth. We haven't been for a while. I don't think this guy has anything more to sell, but I might as well check. Nope. Clean them out. Okay. Just waiting for him to be like, haha, see, like, I still have one more, like, essence bin. Or one more soul bin. <sighs> oh, hey! Map of the Deep Nest! Now you're selling it for some reason, now that I've discovered everything there. The tram pin. Yeah, we'll buy that too. Bacchanada. Alright, now we go over to the city storerooms. I believe this is the closest area to the Nail Forger. I 
don't remember exactly though, so let's equip the compass. Alright, I am up here. Okay, yeah, on the lower lower left. That's where the guy who forges fins is. I believe. Ow! <laughs> My jewels! Oh, that had to have been painful. I'm so sorry, little buddy. Wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Well, wrong way, right direction. Ow. Never know how much money the guy might want. Yeah, he's in the lower left corner of the map. I remember that. Okay, well that's just evil. <laughs> Why would you do that? Going down. I said going down. That guy might actually damage me too. He's very precise with his amount. He always charges you one more than what you have. That would be sad. Yeah, here we go. Nail forge a dishway. I don't use the Super Grover move enough. Hey, dude. Uh, mm, oh, you've returned. Yeah. If you bring me two pieces... Oh, I only have one. I thought he only needed one. Aw, oh, Rocky's really mad now. Well, great. I'm just gonna walk back to the Tower of Love. It's not too far. You all knew, didn't you? <laughs> you all knew, we were like, oh, you should just get the nail upgrade. Haha, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> well, then don't drink too much ginger ale. No, I, I didn't think you did, DX, but I'm sure Proxima knew, unless he lost track of the pale ore that I had found. And it's it's fine. Don't don't even worry about it. Even if <laughs> even if people did know that and were intentionally misleading me, like don't feel bad about that. That's hilarious. I absolutely would do that if I was the person watching someone do the blind let's play. That's okay. I mean, hey, I saw for myself that he needed two, and I forgot. So. That makes me the biggest adoofus of them all. Uh, no! I, how about you don't attack me? That wouldn't be very nice. Oh yeah, that was def it was definitely faster to walk through than to walk back to the subway station. All those elevators, man. Okay. Well, no wayward compass. Grub song seems to be working well. I'm wondering though. Actually 
Repsol is nice. Okay, first off, I really liked having the uh, the steady body. That was really good. Steady body plus long nail could be, but I don't really notice much of a difference when I have long nail equipped. That's the issue. Okay, when this says collect more soul when striking foes, is that referring to striking foes with the dream nail or just the regular nail? Because based on the other parts of the description, it sounds like it's talking about the dream nail strike. But maybe not. And if it's not the case, then I'm equipping that dream nail. Okay, yeah, forget that. I'm not doing that. Okay. Okay. No, in that case, I, I think that's good. I think that's a good combination to have. Well, if we run a little overtime for this stream, that's fine. I want to I wanna try to defeat this boss. If I can't defeat it in the next few tries, then oh well, we... We continue next week, but... Uh, with... The the whole... You can keep... You don't suffer recoil when attacking enemies. That actually helps tremendously for this fight. Because you can just march right up to one of the enemies, hit them twice, and boom, they're dead. I love that. I love that screaming souls attack. That's that's a really fun one. I do dislike how few opportunities there are to heal later on in the fight, just due to how chaotic everything is. Darn you! Ah! I think I need to use more soul attacks. Because I keep hitting the, the common enemies and I'm getting more soul, I have a ton of soul. So I, I shouldn't be afraid to use it to attack more, especially for dealing with those common enemies if there's a bunch of them on the screen at once. I should, I should shoot my spirit a bit more. Because I think if I shoot my spirit, I can insta-kill pretty much all the enemies on screen. All right, thanks for joining in, uh, DX Vision. Enjoy. Yes, you definitely don't want to miss that train. I also have a plan if this doesn't work out. Okay, 
well now I'm just playing carelessly. <laughs> One more fight, then you'll sleep. Alright. I really wish you could redirect the blasts back with your nail strikes. I swear she always does the I'm gonna grab you move when, only when you're in the situations where you can't really avoid it. Okay, I got a I got a different plan in mind. <laughs> Artie versus Auntie. Okay. Say no to Grub Psalm. And hmm. I'm gonna unequip those and what's where's the one that Yeah, I'm gonna try the Shaman Stone. Alright, good night, 2DX Vision. Sleep well. So, yeah, I'm not gonna get as much soul, but this should make my soul attacks even more powerful. I think it's just time to change up the strategy a little bit can't be trying the same thing over and over again, because I feel like I'm not g making any new progress in the fight. If anything, I'm, <laughs> if anything, I'm getting worse at the fight. Also, I only just now realized that I'm not actually getting any will from attacking the boss, only from attacking the enemies. Right. I keep saying will. It's soul. I can't keep track of all this stuff. <laughs> Ooh, that is actually a lot less will. Okay, that was a mistake. I need to re-equip that will. That that gives you like triple the will if you have keep saying will, triple the soul if you have that one pin equipped. Like literally I get three times as much. Why does that always happen? I always stun him when there's a little shooty bug right behind him. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. I definitely need to get the extra soul. Yeah, that makes things a little difficult. So instead, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna keep the Shaman Stone. I'm gonna unequip the Quick Focus. And my reason for doing this... is because the Quick Focus, I barely have t a chance to heal in the battle anyways. So I'm going to have all of this and Grub Song. With all of this, I should be getting like the maximum amount of soul. 
And while I may not be able to heal very frequently, my soul attacks will be stupidly powerful and I'll get them all the time. Let's see how you like the new Artie. Oh man, now I've forgotten the timing to heal if I'm, it's not fast healing. <laughs> Soul attacks take less, uh, less soul to use if you've got that pin equipped. No, oh! that's totally the way to do it, though. No, it's still pretty- okay, it felt like- it felt like my soul attacks didn't take as much soul to use if I had the, the shaman stone equipped. But it's probably just because I rarely actually use the soul attacks. Slow healing is not very fun, but I feel like it's worth it to get the other badges equipped. Because right now I can't get an extra notch. I really wish you had more notches.
Always knows when to use the lunge attack at the worst times. Beautiful. Okay, that's... I need to stop jumping right into it. Darn you, and your stupid lunge claw! Feels like this fight just never ends. Gonna give it a couple more tries and then I'm gonna stop. This is not gonna turn into another lost kin situation. I need to. I think what I need to do is only use the soul like, shooting attack if there's one of those projectile shooting bugs that's relatively far away. Lost Kin is still definitely a lot harder than this guy. Not even a competition. But this might be another bonus boss. Yeah, that claw attack, re it feels like it reaches halfway across the screen. Like, if you're not right behind her, when it goes off, like, you're getting hit. Bug ruined my chance to heal. <laughs> no, done you. Ah. I swear there is something hard-coded in his AI that he always does the lunge attack when you have no chance of escaping it. Like, if you're in a corner trying to heal, he will do the lunge attack. Otherwise, he rarely does, because he'd rather just keep throwing more infinitely spawning enemies from the ceiling. I also feel like Vol Nail might be helpful in this fight, but not helpful enough for me to unequip anything else that I have. Ugh! 
Those pill bugs are alarmingly fast. Like, if you miss a swing, you you get hit. He did the lunge again! How did I not dodge that? I dashed under him when he was at the apex of his jump. I should not have gotten hit by that. Unless as the fight goes, he can just change the trajectory of his lunge. Because in any other phase of that fight, I would have dodged that with that dash. It's ironic this is called the Tower of Love, because I am not loving this. Also, shoutouts to my controller that still has not lost battery power yet. Why do these bosses all have like 800,000 HP, by the way? Seems like it's a little too much. Okay, it is way too early in the fight for you to be summoning this many enemies. sometimes lag in this fight when you get hits on things, and that is royally screwing me over for the pill bugs. Because it's dropping my inputs to attack them. Wow! You shot something way faster than you're supposed to be able to. Back to fast healing. If only fast healing didn't take so much. Let's try Sprint, sprint Master. That extra little bit of speed. Who knows? Maybe that'll make all the difference. Sprint Master plus the ability to keep swinging your nail in place. I might be able to kill the guys really, really quickly. Once again! This boss is not hard. The only reason this boss is hard is because he can spawn unlimited enemies at any time he wants right on top of you. And there's, like, multiple at once, and there's nothing you can really do about it. The boss on his own merits can't do a thing, really.
Could my secondary soul jar fill up a little more quickly? I would have been able to nail him with a souls of the deceased attack. He tried to... Okay, are you kidding me? I hate how my nail just barely doesn't reach the enemies. And I can't equip all nail because I don't have enough notches. Because this game is incredibly stingy on notches. It's like, let's give you like 80 badges. Oh, but you only have like 5 notches. Don't worry, you can buy 2 more in the whole game. It's like... Really? Even Paper Mario 64 had 30 BP. annoying is I'm pretty sure I've gotten extremely close to beating this boss. I've knocked her down like four times in one fight. Too often in this fight, you just get trapped in unwinnable situations. Where it's like, no matter which way you go, you will take a hit. Again, by nature of there being way too much stuff on the screen at once. Speed is definitely helping, actually. Are you How did you hit me if you're stunned? I hate how he can short hop once and then immediately claw you. Like that. And his claw attack can reach you from, like, anywhere on the screen. Uh-oh. That's not good. No! The freaking gun it! Again, an unwinnable situation. If I had kept going to the right, he would have shot to the right, and I would have taken a hit. Like, say what you will about the Cuphead bosses, but there's basically zero luck involved in those fights. And nothing that you can't react to in time. I feel like it is not the case for this. I also feel like pretty much all of these late game bosses are just, let's throw 800 things on the screen at you. <laughs> Rather than, hey, it's a boss that actually is just genuinely really hard. I'll give it one or two more tries and then I'm going to end the stream. Well, 
that's off to a great start already. This is going a little more smoothly. Should have healed before I did that. Oh well. How the heck did you reach me? Ah, there we go. Die. He died laughing. Obsession achievement unlocked. Oh, of course there are going to be worms up here. And what's this? Take in the collector's map. Hold L to view the map of the current area, the locations of imprisoned grubs will be displayed. <gasps> oh, that's great. Oh, that's really great. Woohoo! Okay, that was a worthwhile reward. Sweet. Okay, I'm not sure why that particular round went so much better than the others. Maybe I just got lucky, maybe I got unlucky before, but... Cool, I'll take it! Sweet! A little bummed that I didn't get a nail upgrade like I thought I would, but... Eh. That's fine. Woohoo! Still definitely a much easier and better boss than the Lost Kin, but... I don't like bosses that throw a huge amount of common enemies at you constantly. It, it's too much to keep track of. Before next time, we are re-equipping our badges accordingly. So I definitely like having quick focus on. That's great. Um, I don't need Geomagnet anymore, so let's go with Soul Catcher. That's always a good one. And... I mean, Wayward Compass I probably should have equipped. And if nothing else, then... Let's keep Sprint Master. Why not? Alright, well, that tonight's stream went a little bit longer than usual, but that's okay. Because we, we accomplished a lot. And wow, we've got a map that tells us where all the grubs are now, so... Woo woo! That's gonna be great! Maybe we actually will be able to save all of the grubs. Or maybe I'll just be like, no, let's get to the end of the game. Still don't know where the end of the game is. Still have to find the last seal opening. But maybe we can go back and explore more of the Kingdom's Edge. Or we can explore more of the Deepness now that we finally have the map for that. So that'll continue on Monday. And then we'll be finishing up Donkey Kong Country 3 this weekend. Yes, finishing up. We only have um, three worlds left in the game. They're really tough, but we can, we can absolutely do it. So... 
thank you all for watching. It was great talking with you all. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. See you later, everybody.